this is what a one trick looks like. This is what a one trick looks like. Crazy thing is that Quaid seems to play as well with pretty much any of the champions that he plays on as I do with any of the ones I play on, and I play very few champions. There's some talent in this um, man, I assume. Yeah, there I am going and assuming gender. <sighs> I should stop doing that. So he's going conquer as well. Interesting. That will benefit him greatly later. In the early portion of the lane, getting Conquer to stack is tough. So I'm curious to see. Ah. And he's gone. My Urgot. My Urgot. And Brett had a trash. What? <laughs> wow, the Shivana. Wow. I. I. I'm gonna have to report her after the game, but I'm. I'm. I still laugh at what she said. It was hilarious. Just another day on the job. <laughs> Ran about broken Urgot. If I lose to Urgot, it's my own damn fault. Or their junkers' fault. We'll figure out which one. But he's 0-1. It's it's unlikely he's going to be a big pain in the ass this game. And Quaid, Quaid starts out with an extra log sword. Oh, no. Oh, they're poor Cassidy. Cassidy is a late-game champion. And he's up against Zed, who is a historically early game champion. And the Zed has a kill to start the lane with. Whew. He helped Leash then. Yeah, he definitely leashed. He's missing shotguns. Ow. And he started Q. He started Q! He doesn't even have a corrupting potion. What the fuck are you? He, he started Q. I mean, I started Q simply because I, I wanted to kill. And that's what I need to do if I want to kill things. You start Q. Well, you start Q if you want to kill things and still be able to, you know, farm. Because you start with your, your E, you can't, you literally can't do anything while that thing's down. Okay, so now he's got his Q. And his E, which he missed. Ow. Sir, sir! Do not step on the blob, sir! God, he is so heavy, he's crushing them. Lose some weight. Stop doing that! He's doing it again! You're not gonna make friends this way, dude. You don't see me crushing on your blobs, asshole. Juked. Oh, I'm sorry, I know how your kit works. I know how your mind thinks. Hopefully I can keep doing that for the rest of the game. <laughs> yes, please compile those quotes. Yeah, oh, I was trying to kill that one actually. Amazingly enough, I actually still got it. Cool. Well, long cooldown, so now I must wait. Right, he's warding. Dick, and he steps on the. You are such a dick. Man, it is going to be such a pleasure to kill him later. Much, much later. He's like, no, I can't do that now. An ally has been slain. Oh, that's not good. Getting most of the CS. By the way, you never start Q on her guide. You start W or you start E, but you never start Q. Especially not if you're in a fucking melee lane. Oops. Ow. You mind not doing that, sir? 
Ow. You're very rude. Seriously, he is such a rude Urgot player. No, you don't. Get him, Siobhan! Oh, crap. Ugh, come on, get him. Oh, God damn it. The Urga got away with no health. How oh, unfortunate. I don't think we can do this. No, I can't do it. Well, in a second. Oops. Mistake. I thought my E cooldown would be up. It was still down. 24 seconds. Uh. I don't know. If Shivana had flash, she could have gotten that kill. It does not... Oh, she she has Ignite. That's right. The Ignite was actually the reason why it was close, so I can't even fault her for that. Without Ignite, he would not have even gotten close to dead. It's just too bad that she went in when she did. Because she didn't have the health to fight. And this is early in the... I gotta just mute both of these guys. He's playing cautious. Look at that. He's not your average Urgot player, you can tell. He seems to understand his champion. He's played enough games, and you can tell. This isn't like the Urgot we just played against that really looked like an amateur. He's not playing because it's flavor of the minute. He knows the champion. Seriously, stop shooting. The minions don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it either. Just leave. I do need to be careful. He can't kill me easily, but he can kill me. At the health I was at, I think I was above 25%, so his R was not going to be able to get a kill. Um, let's get one of these, one of these, one of those, teleport to one of these. Okay. Alright, this is going to be pretty aggravating for him, because he's going healing first, which he should. Bramble Vest is a pretty solid counter choice at this point. What? How? Uh, for someone so fat... I seem to somehow miss with my- You missed. You missed, friend! He needed to fire that R immediately after connecting with his- When he didn't do that, well, his R was never gonna connect. If, but the thing is, he wasn't even gonna kill me and he wasn't gonna get a fear off either. I got enough out of that. I got enough to be able to go back. Get a ruby crystal. Why, thanks. I do work out. Hmm, I'll just leave it at that. Here's the best Urgot skin. Of course he has a chance. You know how many people bought that skin because it was a meme? I assume the percentage is more than 10. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Literal numbers out of the ass. Um, but yes, I would assume that some people bought the skin just because of the skin and not because they were Urgot. He has 100k plus on the champion, so he's definitely put the hours in. Ow. Like, keep in mind, that Gangplank we played against last game had a decent looking skin. Skin doesn't mean a goddamn thing. I will not judge a man by the color of their skin, or the money they put into it. Did 
he drop a pink ward? Let's find out. He did! He did! What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? I know your champ. I know your limitations. You can't defend that. Once he's nine, you could potentially look for for not only defending but killing the ward I was gonna place afterwards. Pre nine, well, not so sure. And I am itemizing specifically to counter his beginning build. And the fact that he went Conquer. If he went PTA, I would not have gone Bramble Fest. Ow. You missed. And you missed again. Nicely done, sir. Come here. This poor Urgot, he is, uh... Man, I'm just trying to hit you with those Ws, because I know they hurt now. Come on, use your E on me, I dare you. I dare you. Blobs, blobs, blobs. Ow. Now he's he's stepping on my blobs again. I'm gonna kill you for that, I swear. And nice. You guys are having fun killing their Cassidy. I like this. There's his ward. I can't kill his ward. He can actually kill mine if he's in the area in the right time. For now. He's running low on money. He doesn't have corrupting potion. Nah, I'm okay. Hey, don't don't do that. He's using his fat body. I'm okay. I get to walk away. Kind of scary. But you're out of mana. Ow! Shit, this is bad. Is it bad? I'm dead, aren't I? Cool! I got hit by an ultimate that was shot in from a champion from outside my vision range. That wasn't Urgot. Cool. And here I was thinking that I was having fun playing against that champion I like in a good old 1v1 and a grave shows up out of nowhere to ruin everything. Fucking dicks, both of them. You don't deserve to play this champion. I never get ganks like that. What the hell? And the worst part is, he got a kill, denied me a massive wave, both experience and farm, and two plates. He's not going to get the gold for the second plate, but it's two plates off of the turret. All of that from one gank. Like, literally, just one gank. Look how much of a difference it did. And it was a dive, too, in the end. They killed me while I was under my turret. Whatever. You're killing the graves. That makes me feel happy. Thank you, Quake. Because fuck that guy. Dick move. Serious dick move. I do have teleports. Oh, Siobhan is dead. Okay, you're okay. It didn't make sense for me to teleport in. I didn't have my R yet. No R, no point. I'm not going to be able to do much without it. But at least his R is down now. But he has a full death stance. Oh, hi there. Ah, oh, no! Damn it! He does know his champion well. Walks back in, kills it with a W. Mm. 
Well then, I don't want to be fighting him now. He's got a full death stance, and I, I don't have anywhere near the power he has alone. I'm gonna have to play safe. I know I do not outscale him in the 1v1. Oh, well then, I'm gonna lose this turn. There's no point in me even being here anymore. There's nothing I can do about it. I really need help here. Your turret has been destroyed. I really need help up here. <laughs> Shivana just continues farming. Cool. Well then. Well, well, well! Yes, mayhaps this turret wasn't worth it. Well, that felt really good. The Shivana does damage. Wait, she went AD. Why is she going AD? The fuck is this nonsense? The deuce is this. On hit Shivana? Ew. Where's your Blade of the Rune King? That's... She's... No, this is a death stance. What the hell? Like, Blade of the Rune King, like, that makes sense to me, but... Death stance? Maybe he's a third item on her, but you want Blade of the Rune King first, for sure. Um... Hmm... Let's go for this, actually. An enemy has been slain. No, I actually, in, in uh, Urgat's case, I would have picked Conquer as well if I'm up against Zack, because I wouldn't expect the Zack to want to fight early. And if that's the case, then I don't need PTA. Zack wants to fight, like, around somewhere between level 7 and 9 for the first time. A good Urgat could keep him at bay for most of that time. Oh, hi there. Got a ward. At this point, I'm pretty tanky. Oh, he's going Cleaver next. Wow. This guy is going full aggro, huh? Doesn't like Blade... Doesn't like uh, Righteous Glory. I hope it's his third item. I know where he isn't. have teleport. I should back away from the wave so I can just walk up if I can. Got the connection! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! The Q! Worked out so well. Yes, the, he flipped me, but not before my Q hit somebody behind him. So I was able to use him to slap them together. That worked out so well. Oh my god. His E timing was perfect, too. You saw that. The Urgot played that perfectly. He used his E to ignore my E knockup. But when he flipped me, it was already after my Q had thrown out. So I grabbed someone behind him. Wow, that could not have played out any better. I also didn't even use my R. We won the fight because the Shivana and uh, Quay just jumped right in and obliterated their back line once it became clear they couldn't fight. That was beautiful. And yep, there's the death stance as predicted. You can have the rest of these. I didn't want them anyways. 
I already ate. You can have the leftovers. Yeah, I can't match his push. That's one thing Zack will never be able to do, is just match an Urgot just pushing with his W. Alright, I got a lot of cash. Let's go spend. I can finally finish my first item. I should also go for some MR. Against their team, I'm going to need it. AP here is taking dead stance in this meta. I don't think it's fair to call Siobhan an AP champion. It's just that AP Siobhan is ridiculous. As you can see, Bruiser Siobhan is incredibly strong. It's just that AP Shivana just straight up wins by using one ability over and over again at max range. That one. Bruiser Shivana, this doesn't do very much. But the rest of her kit does so much more. Are you? What the? Ah. Uh, who rooted me? God damn it. Clearly it was sent. Got him. Nicely done. I got the dodge out of him with my E so Xerath could land his, uh... Yeah, we gotta be careful here. We don't wanna... We don't wanna overcommit. Yeah, I forced him to dodge the non-lethal hit. If my E had landed, he would have died. So he had to use the jump to get out of there and be safe. Oh yeah, I'm with you. Let's kill somebody. The minions aren't in the area yet. Oh, don't worry. You don't need it. We can kill them anyways. If somebody's stupid enough to come defend this, they're dead. Doesn't look like anybody is. Boo! Oh, I was hungry. Whatever, maybe this next one will do. Oh, there he is. Fucker. Oh. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. Eh. Oh, I'm out. Okay, then. Alrighty, I'm out. <laughs> well, that was a lot more of them than I thought were gonna be there. The Siobhan was also a lot more bold than she should have been. Diving an Urgot at full health under his turret. Dangerous. Very fucking dangerous. Maybe only works if she gets stacked. AP Siobhan is still ridiculous. <laughs> One ability doing that much damage. Like, there's a reason why AP Karma isn't a thing anymore, because it's really stupid. Wait, where are you leaving? Graves, come back. Don't you want to fight? I'm just Zack. I swear I'm as squishy as I look. I certainly don't have multiple armor items. And certainly didn't take tank runes or anything. And hi there, Lord Megatron. How you doing? Oh, is somebody gonna die? Yes, somebody is gonna die. Nice. Yeah, let's just quickly grab this dragon. This will be dragon number three for us, so that's nice. You know, I'm not normally part of the dragon decisions, but right now, because Baron is the big objective, I can push bot lane with teleport, so I can be here when dragons are actually taken. Don't even need to burn anything for it. You better not have killed this. Good God, how did you kill that so fast? Oh, wow. I'm, I'm on my way. We have an EP cast. 
Hey there, fellas. You dead now? Oh, yes. You guys are. Oh, he's... Oh. <sighs> Whatever. We got one of them. That's all that matters. The Graves needed to get the fuck out. He did not... I'm tanking it, but I guess it won't matter. Oh, yes, it will. Hooray, it mattered! He couldn't find a kill. No, I need to clap him with something! Urgh! They're dead to you. Out of this one. Uh, oh my god. Fancy feet, she dodged everything. Get him, Quaid! Kill her! Mur there it is! Nicely done. That's right, 250 structures destroyed. Mine. Sorry. Asshole. What are you doing? I know he's low on life, but come on. His teammates are right next to you. You think they're not going to react if you go in? Woohoo! I'm out. Uh, well, cast my happy. Never mind, she doesn't need to be. Never mind, she doesn't need to be. Oh, she looks hungry. Oh. And eh, now you're dead too. You're not getting out of this one. Yeah! Oh, I'm not even going to get credit. Damn you! Give me the credit at least, Kaiser. Come on. I put effort into that. Forcing you to choose who to die to. She chose not me. That was a popularity contest, and apparently Zack isn't popular. I thought Zack was popular with the ladies. Have you seen the Zack and Riven stuff? Um... Ah, uh, this is a stomp, isn't it? Yes, New Urga buffs went live, so of course, we meet somebody else who takes Urga. Obviously. Oh, Quaid's... Quaid's eating, isn't he? Quaid likes fast food. Lucky for him, their team has quite a bit of it. Yeah, being in the area isn't the same as apparently touching an enemy or healing an ally. Ah! We'll just take this turret then. It's not like they can defend. There's two inhibs down. And we have Baron. This game's done. It's 28 minutes. We're up 36 to 9. It's been over for a while. This is definitely going to be the signature bad game of the day. Unless there's more of these, which there might be. Who knows? Doesn't need to be just one, right? That's right, Shivana. Show your fangs! Oh, the running man. We had a brief running man. That's a good omen. It means three games. Good luck. I assume. I don't know what any of these omens actually mean. I don't even know how to read the tea leaves. It's actually kind of embarrassing. <sighs> okay. Definitely need to report the Shivana. Jesus Christ. Um, and I need to report the Graves. Though, to be honest, um, she, she was pushing the Graves, so I understand his reaction. I'm still going to report him. Um, wow, look at the damage across the board. Yurgat did the most on their team, but it didn't result in much, unfortunately. He ended 1, 5, and 3. He had tons of damage, but no ability to execute. Which is weird, because look at this guy. He's He was going for the kill. He was going for the throat. He's going all damage. I don't, this isn't a Belori build, but that's that is very aggressive. 
And the funniest part is you didn't get executioners calling like early in the game when it really would have helped when laning against me. Executioner's calling would have made the laning phase so much better.